This is the glorious Toilet Mountain and this is the old Toilet Mountain train tunnel. It was built by many burly men from 1914 through 1918. It was a tough task because it was over 1.2 kilometers long. Sadly, as the trains grew more modern, this magnificent tunnel wasn't tall enough to fit them anymore. So in 1995 they needed to build a new tunnel, which is over there. And this one was done much more efficiently, with all the modern railroad regulations kept in mind. But Jona, I'm getting kind of cold in here. What is the point of this? I'm not sure. Should we get going? But with what? Well, what about a 1994 Audi 80? Alright. But not just any old Audi. This is an Audi 80 Competition Quattro. Only 2,500 rolled out for the production line originally. And they all had a 140 horsepower four-cylinder engine, which for the time obviously was plenty. All fitted with four-wheel drive and a rudimentary 80s variation of launch control. A button for locking the rear diff temporarily during launch. And you won't see one of these competition models every day. According to various sources, there are only 700 of these left in the whole world. So, it's a very period correct 140 horsepower generating naturally aspirated 4 pot then. Not this time. To up the numbers of this specific model, it has been fitted with a different engine this time. And not just any engine. The Volkswagen Group 1.8 petrol turbo, which the more Volkswagen Group savvy of you might recognize as APU. And that, my friend, is made it to a system called the Audi Quattro. It is quite usual for big car manufacturers to use motorsports as proving grounds for the technologies used. The Quattro phenomenon is a perfect case in point. Despite their doubts in the 1970s, the German engineers tried it out and managed to revolutionize drivetrain setups and racing. The mighty Sport Quattro A1 sweeped the floor with its three-wheel drive competitors in the rally world, and later on in circuit racing, the four-wheel drive Quattros drove circles around the competition, especially when the surface grip lowered. In the past, the idea of using four-wheel drive in a passenger car was a weird thought, but today, it's as common as city off-roaders having front-wheel drive. But for one reason or another, Audi then started pulling blocks out of its motorsport divisions, one by one. No legendary rally cars, no Le Mans winning prototypes. And that of course has its reflection on the Olympic Volkswagens we see on the road today. Of course there are modern performance models, the RSs, but the brand as a whole has started shifting from the tracksuit wearing testosterone crazed hooligan to a dark grey business suit. A flawlessly tailored one. This competition quattro, however, isn't flawless. You know how I usually feel about these sensible German automobiles. You think they're boring? Well, they're not always boring per se. Let's just say they don't light my pants on fire uh, each time. I hear there's a butt coming in that sentence. Well, there is a butt in my pants. No, that's not what I mean. Ah, oh, you mean this car? Yeah, I do find this car exciting. Uh, the steering wheel is too big, my shoes don't quite fit in the pedal box and the gear ratios are all but now wrong. now it sounds like you're just listing things that are wrong with this car. No, 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 no. They're not wrong. They're just unique little features that make me love this car even more. Jona, you're a weird Finnish car guy. Jerry might have a point there, but so do I. The 80s retro sneakers especially a bit worn out ones, will always have more character than a pair of brand new black loafers from Gap. To an untrained eye, this might seem like petty hooliganism, but actually, there's a point to be made here. If you compare this car to the model of the modern range of the Audis, this isn't an RS4. No, it totally isn't. It's more like a normal petrol-powered A4 with an S-line package. Exactly, and there's a huge difference between this and that. Your dad's 1.8 TSFI with an S-Line package will probably never do this. But this one, it wants donuts more than a Texas police chief. It wants to go sideways in each and every corner. And you'll want to do it as well. 
There is a sense of the traditional Oris deer, which means the nose will want to run wide, but there's a secret to taming it. Turn in a tad earlier, give the throttle a quick bootful, be patient and watch the back come around as you throttle control the slide beautifully like a regular Walter Röhl. And after a day with the competition Quattro, there's just no other way of going around the corner. I don't want to call the owner because I don't want to give this car back. Let's keep on driving then. First we need to make a quick pit stop at the toilet mountain again. Why do we... This new tunnel was built because of the electrification of the modern trains. It was cheaper to dig a new one than to fit all the equipment needed to the old one. But take a closer look at them. The new one looks like, well, a train tunnel. But the old one though, it looks like handcrafted piece of industrial art. Remind you of anything? Mm -hmm. 